Hey guys, Luke Mick here, and last night I saw Spring Breakers. Alright, Spring Breakers. Uh, this movie, when I first heard about it, I thought it was actually a Disney movie, but uh, later I found out that I was really wrong, and uh, that it's not a Disney movie. So, people will often get this movie mistaken for a movie like Project X or something like that, or 21 and Over, but it really isn't. It's uh, much more artistic and it's not exactly a comedy. So, the whole, the main plot of this movie is four uh, friends, four college friends decide that they would like to go to, I think somewhere down in Florida, um, for spring break and they have to do some pretty bad things to get there and once they get there they decide that they like it quite a bit and they don't want to go back but they get tied into some really bad people and some bad situations and that's basically the base of this movie so the performances here are generally good the four lead actresses um, do a fine job Selena Gomez is actually in this movie uh, for a little while and she I guess I never watched her Wizards of Waverly Place show. I never have seen her really in movies. I just know that who she is and what she looks like and what she does. It's a little weird, but uh, um, I, she did fine, I guess. Vanessa Hudgens was in it. She's changed a lot from High School Musical, that's for sure. And I don't know who the other two girls are, but they did a good job as well. And James Franco was in this movie, and he plays the rapper, drug dealer guy uh, that they actually meet halfway through the movie. His name is Alien and he does a really good job in this movie. He's just crazy and he really went into his role and I really believed him as this rapper drug dealer guy so the performances here are actually pretty good. So like I said at the beginning this movie isn't the normal party kind of movie. This movie is really more so artistic. I can't even pick a genre to put this movie and I could say a dark, I guess dark humor uh, drama type thing. It's not just, there, there's more meaning to it. And the, see, it's it works because the characters are interesting, the plot is interesting, there's actually something there, and the performances are good. And the whole thing looks really nice um, all together. There's always uh, nice bright colors going on, and it's just, and I was never bored of the movie. I mean, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, because it's just really artistic, and it's not your normal kind of generic party movie. And it's not even just party movie, there's more going on in this movie that I'm not going to ruin for you guys. But it does have problems, um, the narration is a little off, each character kind of says things randomly throughout the movie, like it changes whose point of view it is, so it gets a little convoluted there. And, uh, also, this is just me, but I was, I thought there was a, um, the use of dubstep was a little excessive in my opinion, but what are you going to do? And originally I was going to give this movie four and a half out of five stars. Um, it just looks really nice, but I'm going to end up giving it four out of five stars. And let me tell you why the ending of this movie is pretty ridiculous. I don't really like the ending. It's kind of dumb. Uh, it sort of ruined a lot of the other stuff happening. And the whole thing is really kind of ridiculous. There's some things happening that's like, okay, it wouldn't really happen that way. But the ending is just so, so unrealistic and kind of dumb. But overall, it is a really fun and entertaining movie that's actually really well shot. Um, some good performances here, especially from James Franco again. So four out of five stars. Uh, if you're... If you're thinking you're going to go see uh, Project X or something like that, this is not it at all. And I know a lot of people in the theater, there were quite a few people there, and I could hear people saying that, wow, that movie sucked and it was pointless. So, if, if you really care for the, the, I don't know, it, just go check it out. It's, it's pretty good, it's entertaining, and I like it. So, uh, this is Luke Mick. Signing off, uh, I'll see Olympus has fallen today actually and give you a review later tonight. So have a good rest of the day.